Alright everybody, I just completed my uh, little circuit here, put it in the box, connected it, the whole nine yards. Um, it seems to be working perfectly fine. What I'm going to do here, as you can see, I'm going to go to audio and you can see that the iPod is still connected. But we go down here, flashlight, we go down here and you'll notice that the iPod isn't directly connected see that cable back there that's uh, actually the patch cable that I have running to that little box we notice something is plugged into the USB there and also the iPod says that it's connected and we're playing from the iPod so you can see the little box has a little red light that's uh, the circuit that I've went ahead and designed what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the power here which is gonna be that USB cord one second, do it with the flashlight so y'all can see. Pull that. As you can see, the music has stopped. And the iPod, of course, said that it's been disconnected. So my amp is off. Similarly, we plug it back in. Of course, my radio comes back up. Go back to iPod here. And there we go. The circuit seems to be working. All we need are these four wires, power and ground coming from the USB, remote line, and 12 volts. This extra wire is ground because I thought the grounds weren't shared, but apparently it is with the USB, so we eliminated a wire. But that's all there is to it. This little box now controls the remote line and turns on and off my amp just from the USB. Keep in mind you can use this circuit for anything that uses a USB. If you want to turn on your table lamp, whatever you want to do, set it up to a relay and it should work. Alright, have fun you guys.